Hey everyone, welcome to my latest video. Today we're diving into offensive modifiers in the passive skill tree and gear. We'll also explore damage conversions, how they work and how to maximize their potential. I'll break everything down step by step and show you exactly how damage is calculated in practice. First, let's talk about skill gems. Skills are the base of our calculations. They either give a specific base value on spell and minion skills or a percentage value for attack skills. They can have a base level from 1 to 20 with the option to get extra levels from weapons, amulets, gloves or helmets. Also you can get another plus one level when using a vowel op on your skill gems or by choosing the gemling ascendancy in planted gems. Every level will boost their effectiveness. Some skills scale exponentially, offering incredible damage gains, like Fireball for example, while others might not scale as dramatically, most often being the attack skills. As already mentioned earlier, there are three different types of offensive skills. Spell, Attack and Minion skills. Therefore, there are multiple modifiers on the passive skill tree as well as on gear, which might not boost every type of skill. For example, rings can feature percentage elemental damage as well as flat damage for attacks, while percentage elemental damage values increase as attack skills as well as spell skills, flat damage for attacks will only increase the damage for attack skills. To be able to explain different modifiers, we first have to look at damage conversions. I recommend this article on Mobilitics as it explains everything very strict to the point. I will include the link in the description. In short, damage conversion in PoE2 happens in two steps and can't exceed 100%, meaning that if you for example have an attack skill with 100% physical damage converted to fire damage and 50% physical damage converted to cold damage on your gear, you will end up with a 67% and 33% to normalize to a total 100% conversion. In the first step, conversion from skills and support skills will be applied. In the second step, conversions happen from secondary sources such as passive skill trees and gear. For example, having a crossbow with 100 physical damage a plasma blast with a 70% physical conversion to lightning damage combined with the painter gloves equipped will end up with 30 physical damage, 23.3 lightning, 23.3 fire and 23.3 gold damage. Also, any gain percentage of damage as extra elemental damage will be applied here. Okay, now let's talk about rolls. Have you ever noticed the keyword lucky in your skill tree before and wondered what it did? Well, let me explain. Damage is rolled in a range from X to Y, mostly specified in the source damage. So, if we would equip gloves that would add 1 to 20 lightning damage to our attacks, it would be like rolling a d20. And the result is our base damage. As lightning damage tends to have a huge range, the damage might be inconsistent as you sometimes might roll a 2 or sometimes a 17 or higher. If we now have luck on our rolls, we will not roll 1 d20 but 2, comparing the results and the game will pick the higher number for you, resulting in an average higher number than without, as well as more consistency in damage. Okay, now let's talk about the modifiers and what they actually do. What is the difference between increase, more, maximum and gain? Let me explain this one by one. Let's get back to our example from before. We'll have a crossbow which rolled 11.3 physical damage as well as an attack multiplier of 880% on our level 1 plasma blast skill with a 70% lightning conversion ending up with 30 physical and 70 lightning damage. Now let's add some modifiers to the equation. 
first percentage increase and reduced modifiers. These modifiers are additive with each other and will be multiplied by your base damage. For this example we will take a total of 100% increased lightning damage as well as 100% increased attack damage. Note that the increased lightning damage will only affect the lightning damage and not all damage. More and less modifiers are multiplicative with each other and much rarer than others, mostly found in the passive skill tree or support gems. For our example let's include 50% more lightning damage as well as 50% more attack damage. The final formula would look something like this. Now let's talk about crits. For crits we have to roll a number between 0 and 100. If the result is lower than our crit chance we will crit and our total damage will be multiplied by the critical damage modifier. Spell skills always come with a base crit chance. For attack skills the weapon will determine the base crit chance. Plus percentage to critical chance will add more base value to our crit chance. Percentage increase and percentage more modifiers are added after the same way as damage modifiers are. For critical damage our base is 100% extra damage. As critical damage is bonus damage to determine its value, we will have to add it to our final damage formula like this. So, now you know how damage is calculated. But what about DPS? To find out how much DPS we would do, we need to change some things. This would be the final formula. For easier visibility I included a cross reference where X is our average damage without crits and Y is our average damage with crits included. Last on the list is penetration and exposure. Enemy monsters can have resistances that reduce your elemental damage as well as armor which reduces your physical damage. Penetration will reduce this resistance to a minimum of 0%. Exposure and curses will be applied first which can go into negatives though. Making penetration a not so valuable modifier when played together with exposure or curses. That wraps up today's video. I hope I managed to explain everything clearly and in a way that's easy to understand. If you have any questions or need clarification, feel free to leave a comment below. In my next video, I'll be talking about another pinnacle boss, so stay tuned for that. Also, if there's enough demand, I can create a detailed video about defensive modifiers and effective HP. Let me know if that's something you'd like to see. Thank you so much for watching and for all the incredible support I've received over the past few weeks. It really means a lot. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>